Guys, wait here. I'm going to be right back. Got to go get the leash. Stay there. Today's Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. The third day of our Oregon lockdown. I haven't even been out of the house for like three days. I haven't been in my truck for five days. My wife works in healthcare in Grants Pass. That's seven miles north of us here. She works at an urgent care facility and they usually get anywhere from 75 to 100 people a day coming in there. Yeah, a normal day, you know, people with aches and pains and sprains and lacerations and things like that. She's been there since eight this morning and she called a little while ago and said they've checked in, I think seven people so far all day. So what that means to me is people are definitely hunkering down. I think they have a tent set up there for screening. Anyhow, I need to get my dogs and take them for a little walk somewhere. And I thought, just take a tour around our town and see what it looks like. When I say we're on lockdown here in Oregon, I mean it's actually a stay-at-home order. A lot of speculation today about what the order really means. I'd love to go down here to the shopping center and go into Rogue River Sporting Goods and chat with my buddy Justin, but it's not really necessary. I could talk to him online. Call them on the phone. I'm really curious as to what they have on their shelves left. Guns and ammo, stuff like that, but I'm not gonna go in. I'm doing my best. Doing my part to be a good social distancer. It is 116. Usually the traffic in little old downtown Rogue River is about three times this volume. Still though, there are a few people out and about. Bingo's canceled until further notice. Looks like Dr. Mike the bed is open. This is the Rogue Center. It's our one and only shopping center in town. Everything's kind of centralized here. Groceries, liquor store, restaurants, uh, hair salon, stuff like that. And this is our one and only grocery store, Ray's Food Place. I would say that the cars in the lot here are about mm, two thirds of what they usually are. I'm gonna swing around here to this uh, Bocce's restaurant. I see that it's open. Wow, Paisano's Italian Kitchen is open. So what's up with that? Are they open? Oh, I see. Chairs are all up on that one there. They're open for takeout. Good for them. And same here at Bocce. Look at all the chairs there. But they are open for takeout. Here's Rogue River Pharmacy and Sporting Goods. So everybody goes to get their prescriptions, guns, ammunition, sundries, food, all kinds of stuff. But as I said, I'm not going to go in. Okay, I think we're going to go down here to the post office. That's where we usually park. And uh, I might even run in and get the mail. I think I, I think it should be safe to do that. Well, sun's out now. Stop raining for a few minutes, so we'll take advantage of that. I don't know. There's all kinds of theories, and everybody has their own opinion, but... I just want you to know, we're on essential travel. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take these dogs for a walk. Have a good one, Chief. You too, see you later. Stay safe. One of my former officers, actually, I hired Corporal Buren about, God, I don't know, 15 years ago now. We're lucky to have the little police force that we do in this town. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you back in the truck. I'm gonna go get the mail. And we're gonna beat feet for home for some more fun self what is it called mutating i almost said self mutating for some more self isolation that's it oh shit hold on i hear helicopters on monday when this lockdown started i had five of them fly over the city all at once and they were headed the same way that way there he is yeah they were all headed that way monday oh look oh 
What a shock. Things are getting kind of freaky, folks. <laughs>